Hi guys, it's me, Rain. Um, I am showing you the two books that I got from PJ Library, bringing Jewish stories home. Um, this one book in this folder is for my youngest kids, and then this one is for my oldest one that they do a separate thing where you get to pick out a book for your kid to read. So I got this one for her and I'll be putting it with some of the presents, you know, to be like, oh, here, I got you the subscription. And they do it for, I think until the kid turned 12, I'm not sure, you know. But she just turned nine with them. Um, so this is a sky full of songs. Um, so I put that in the little library that I have. And then this one, yeah, more kids books, nine through 12, get the next books like these. And these are for the young kids. And this one is, and it opens up like this. Joseph had a little overcoat. I like, you know, I like this. I used, there used to be a book store like this when I was growing up that had, <laughs> this stuff like look at the cheek and then you opened it up and it showed you I think I read something like this when I was a kid and then in the back it has some little music that you can read and sing. I think I had something sort of like this. I might have read this same story when I was in school. Maybe. Or preschool. I don't remember. But it's pretty cool. And it's crazy. So he made a scarf out of it, and then there's a scarf, the song, and the man's chorus, you know? And then there's the man's chorus. I think I've read something like this when I was at a friend's house. I think my friend that was Jewish had the same book. And it brings back memories having a book like this for my kids. And they put it in the little thing. Go back. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep this in my one boy thing so then he could start reading this book. So, yeah. Um, this. These books would come for my kids until they turn nine. And then this one, I get her a book every single time. So yeah, this is this one. And then the other one that I have for her um, would be So the other book that I'm getting her would be Blackbird Blue Road and then uh, next month um, which will be tomorrow 
I get to pick out a new book, which would come. This one came. Let's say I ordered it. I got this book, the one that I picked out at the beginning. I got. Let's see. I got this in. I got these books. The fifth, and this one didn't come until the the middle of the sixth month. That's how long it took. And this is a historic fiction book, and it comes with a trivia poll that you get to do in questionnaires. Even the other one, the Blackbird Blue Road that we game delivered uh, next month has trivia in the poll. And that is in fantasy. And then I can't wait for my kids, my other, my old, my youngest ones, to get some more books like this. Or they might do the different holidays. You know, and then that'll be going in my youngest kid's one, my son's one, for Christmas and Hanukkah, and this one would go for my youngest one, and I will be doing for this stuff would be at the end of Hanukkah, I'm thinking about um, doing is having them open a bookshelf. So then if they want to take like, I put like maybe the first day, maybe, or Christmas day, I'm not sure when I will give these presents to them, um, but I know maybe the last day to open the thing for the book, and to be good. So yeah, the op maybe the last day they'll open the bookshelves to where if they want to from our library check these books out they can you know and I already have these books in our book list and the good thing about the book list is that I'm using is library sync and you get to add books in and if they don't have an IP um you could type in the name like I typed in a sky full of songs and popped up with the IP and everything and I'm gonna be doing this maybe I'll have a book thing where I set up, you know, my library books with uh, chapters, um, what else? Maybe like this, this one is historic fiction, maybe I'll do that one, fantasy, you know, that category, and then this one that I got will be like children's book you know I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that but that's how I'm gonna do it probably separate the books I get for the 10 day holiday then they could open the book or maybe I'll put the book in the bag I'm not sure but I'll figure it out and I'll show you guys 
in the video of how I'm going to do it. And who's getting what. But my oldest nine year old is getting this book. My little kid will be getting this one. My son. And then my other kids, I'll definitely have them signed up for the youngest one sign up when I do have more kids for this one and they come in envelopes that say uh, I'll show you I have one of them this is the one that I got in look it says Book and clothes, please handle with care. That's pretty cool. So that's what I got. And it has a gift from Jewish Nevada. So yeah. Let's see. Gift from Jewish Nevada. It says book and clothes, handle with care. I like that. So yeah. That's always awesome. And then this one came in a smaller envelope with the same thing. Book and clothes handled care, but in a smaller envelope to fit the book. And you saw this one came in a big envelope with the little thing. And I'm gonna save up the books I get for my kids to add them to the library. So yeah, they'll have something to read. Even though they already have other books. More books is the better <laughs> with being homeschool mom. So yeah. Okay, bye guys. Bye fluttering hands.